Hi, my name is Marcus Schmidt. I'm Senior Director of Product at West Unified Communications, and I'm coming to you from Orlando, Florida and Enterprise Connect. So I'm here again with the 55-inch Cisco Spark Board. We've talked about some scenarios in other videos about how you can use it for local content sharing, whiteboarding, screen sharing. You can use it to connect up to other users, either Spark users or other Spark boards, other room systems. The other really cool feature of the Spark board is you can pair a Spark space with the Spark board. So I've got my laptop over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on a link inside a Spark space and put it onto the Spark board. So it's in the process now of opening that Spark space on the board. And this is the Spark space we have for our, our participation here at Enterprise Connect. So I can call everybody in the Spark space. So if I, I want to get a quick impromptu meeting and get everybody together, I can click the, the green button to call everybody. I can also start doing whiteboards inside the Spark space and sharing those with different people. So I'm going to say that I'm going to not use those ones. You can see we've done a lot of different whiteboards here at the Spark space. I can go back to my main screen just by hitting the button down below. I can look at all the people that we have inside the Spark space. So here's um, do my colleagues. There's Bill who's doing the filming right there. There's Kevin. You can basically scroll up and down and see all the different people that are here. I guess that's all. We don't, we don't have any need to scroll down. That's the extent of the amount of people we have. I can search on them, find who's in there, go back to the main screen. One of the really cool things is the files area. So if I upload files to my Spark space, you can see we've uploaded a lot of them. Like here's a, here's a file that's a business card of a, one of our colleagues at Dolby. So I, rather than me having to remember where that card is, I can just t snap a picture and I can share it with my colleagues by uploading it as a file to the, to the Spark space. And there it is in all its glory. Now the cool thing about this is it's just like, kind of like a big iPad. So I can scroll, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can go back, go back to my files, go back to all files. And I can do the same thing with images. I can do things with PowerPoint decks. So like here's a, here's a PowerPoint slide presentation that we put together for a recent sales event. I can scroll through that. Um, I can go and look at, go back to all files here. So it's, it's images, it's PowerPoint decks, it is things like PDFs. So here's a PDF of our architecture and we can zoom in and out of that as well. Make that bigger, make that smaller. And it can work with any sort of file. So it could be Word documents, it can be Excel spreadsheets. So if you ever want to get together and collaborate and talk about content, you don't have to worry about does somebody have whatever. It's always in the Spark space. You can always go back and get access to it. So there's all the different types of things we do. And you can see some of the actual Spark board images that we've uploaded here as well. So that's the way that the, uh, the Spark space is paired to a Spark board. Where Cisco's going to do more and more and more with this, I think, but it's a way to get the Spark spaces off your individual devices and onto the big screen so you can share the content and work more collaboratively with your colleagues.